are going to tell us about the story of Shrek through a musical next weekend. Joining us now live in studio again, a, your performing arts director, Swain Cowie, and the student actors and performers. Okay, so I know that we had a little preview earlier, but tell us, why is this so important for students to learn about musical education? Well, you know, music, they say, is very similar to math, even though it's, it's notes and whatnot. Each note has a, a, a mathematical equivalent. And so therefore, yes, you're singing music and you're learning your voice and you're training your voice yes. and to use your muscle, uh, but at the same time, it's also using your brain and being able to figure that out. But at the same time, you get to have the language with it and you, analyze, you get to have an analysis of, of the text as well. Okay, so. Who can join in the school? Because we have now, we know we have the performers, so who else can participate? They, they're seeing us and they're saying, I want to be part of that. Well, we have a summer program at the Hongwonji Mission School. Uh, it's not this summer because we're going to be going through a renovation, which is great. Uh, but we do have a summer program called Stage Left where uh, students can sign up. It's a theater intensive, a musical theater experience. Um, and it's for uh, six weeks. Um, and it's a musical theater uh, intensive. And it's, it's a fun, fun time. Oh, so so any, any student of a certain, the age group can join. For, for the summer program. When it comes to the school shows, which is um, Shrek, uh, it's only yes. for the Hangwanji Mission School students. Um, and uh, right now we have 46 students involved, so it's a great program. Okay, so if you're, so how do you become Shrek? Tell us, tell us about this whole transformation. Well, his name is Kainoa Brennan, and uh, he is a student of mine for years uh, as a, in my drama classes. But you, for me, you earn it through auditions. You, you have to work hard in that audition. You got to prep for it, and then you have to earn it through those auditions. You know, um, and Kainoa was in Wizard of Oz as Uncle Henry, a small role, wow. but he found the comedy in that tiny little role that he was able to expand that into uh, what Shrek, who is the comedian. Yes. Wow, okay. So here we have a little brief preview of it. We're, we are going to see them live. So tell us about this upcoming performance. What can people expect? Um, well, it's not in some big fancy theater, but however, I bring in um, um, professional lighting designers and a sound designer, and we wow. have a professional musical director named Kat Wong, um, and a professional uh, choreographer, Renee Oshiro. And between that team, we work together, and we uh, you can expect the kids to give you um, song and dance and storytelling that have meaning and it's heartfelt. Speaking of that, what are we going to see right now? Right now, we are going to see the three Fionas, young Fiona, teen Fiona, and then the older Fiona, and their understudies. And they're, um, they're singing about being trapped in the castle. And they know that today is the day that their love is going to come and find them and rescue them, who is Shrek. And that's what they're dreaming about. It is called, I Know It's Today. Yes. Take it away. Okay, I'm a believer.
tell us how we can see more. So you can go to show ticks for you. Our show is this Friday, April 12th at 7 p.m. We have two shows on Saturday, and then our closing show is this Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Okay, my goodness, if that didn't get you up for you watching out there, I don't know what would. <laughs> <laughs> Mahalo to all of you being here.